What are activity ratios? Activity ratios are financial metrics that measure a company's operational efficiency, specifically its ability to use assets to generate revenue and cash. These ratios, also known as asset utilization or operational efficiency ratios, combine data from the income statement and balance sheet to gauge how effectively a company leverages its assets. Key activity ratios include 1. Inventory turnover ratio. This ratio measures how efficiently a company manages its inventory. A higher inventory turnover is preferable, indicating faster movement of goods and efficient inventory management. The related metric, days of inventory on hand, DOH, reflects the average number of days inventory remains unsold. Lower DOH suggests more efficient inventory turnover. 2. Accounts receivable turnover ratio. This ratio assesses how quickly a company converts its receivables into cash. A higher ratio might indicate efficient credit management but could also suggest overly strict credit policies. The Days of Sales Outstanding DSO, metric shows the average time it takes to collect payment after a sale. 3. Payables Turnover Ratio This metric evaluates how frequently a company pays its suppliers during a period. A higher turnover might suggest either not fully utilizing available credit or taking advantage of early payment discounts. The number of days of payables indicates the average time taken to settle payables. 4. Fixed Assets Turnover Ratio This ratio measures how effectively a company uses its fixed assets to generate revenue. A higher ratio is generally desirable but must be interpreted with context, as capital intensity and new assets can affect the ratio. 5. Total Assets Turnover Ratio This ratio indicates the overall efficiency of using total assets to generate revenue. A higher ratio is preferred but should be analyzed considering the company's capital intensity. Activity ratios are crucial for understanding operational efficiency but should be interpreted within the broader context of industry standards and company-specific factors.